Holy crap, those cultists are an insane amount of experience. I'm up to what seems to be the maximum level, I think. Because, you know, there's six spells, the max level is apparently ten. So it seems like level 60 would be enough to max them all, but you actually need one more point. It should be max level 61. I'm not sure the creator realized that. But oh well. Let's equip. So yeah, all of my spells are like super mega effective now. I guess I should have my shield. Oh hey, we have all the keys. We have none of... We have a su we're missing a surprising amount of items, considering we at least seem to be pretty far on the plot. But we've also never been to the desert, the opal sea, or the abandoned terrain, so... There at least seems to be a fair amount of the game through. They're left to do, rather. Go away, mouse. Yeah, we're not listening to that again. Let's see how max level Argos does. Take some frickin' butt. Yep. Helps if I hit the right button. Ow. He's also frozen for 10 seconds now every time he hits me. Ow. Go, Argos. Stop. Help me from being murdered, please. Okay, thanks. Now run. Stop jumping. You dodged that surprisingly well. I kind of wonder how fast my phoenix responds now. But, I also don't want to die. Could I have seriously have beat him by just doing this? Alright, maybe not. I guess I'm taking some damage. But still. I'm just not a defensive type of fighter. I do not like that. Okay. Oh, ow. Do not touch the eye thingy. It's apparently instant death. The Phoenix responds pretty fast. Let's try the uh, fire ball. This is where you equip it. Let's see how you do. Oh, hey, he's dead. Well, you were wrong. It wasn't supposed to be this way. You were supposed to be happy. We were supposed to be happy. It was supposed to be a happy, wonderful life. My dearest friend. Oh, Valdi. This was no way to propose to a girl, you know? But I... I forgive you. However foolish your choice was, and mine, I forgive you. Now it's your turn, Master. <laughs> Hello. It's still moving. What the hell? I figured I could. It would not move when I pause. I want Argos. Argos now. Now. Shields. You are big, sir. I thought I killed your arm. Where's your freaking hitbox? At least I have that Phoenix spell max. That's definitely going to be helpful. And it seems very final bossy, so I'm not sure what all the missing items were. Argos, go. Now that the coolness of the summon thing has worn off, I kind of wish this was quicker. It's not as bad as lots of the Final Fantasy summons, though. 
I think in Final Fantasy VIII, Eden takes like two friggin' minutes to summon. It's absurd and annoying. Ow. Ow! Definitely glad I have that Phoenix. It's like, eh, what am I gonna need re reviving this game so easy? Apparently not. So let's murder stuff. Murder. Sort of nice if I had a hit bar here. Ow. You are very mean. Like, seriously, that just took out 75% of my health in one second. Seems a bit excessive. No. No. What the hell? Seriously. If I have to fight Valdi again, I'm going to be very annoyed. Hurry up. Get off your butt. There is stuff to be killed. Please don't be Valdi. So. Oh god. Oh god. Again, really? Ow! You are annoying, sir. That seems a bit overly hard to dodge stuff now. It's like that spinny thing is so impossible to freaking dodge if you're close. I guess you just have to sit here with your freaking shield like a turtle. Just jab at him like a freaking wuss. Yay, wuss tactics. See, even the background music is making fun of how lame this tactic is. And so that, that's pretty bad. See, I tried to do something fancy and I get hurt. <laughs> okay, the run and slash technique is surprisingly effective. Ow. Whatever. Yay, Phoenix. I didn't notice his, like, bulging arm up in the right there. He's got a big beefy arm there. Coming out of the back of his neck there. Not sure this thing has a neck. I'm actually going to let this play for the so the health will regenerate. Because for some reason it regenerates while cutscenes are happening. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. I have health potions. Oh! That skips! Oh! Go away. Does the shield work against this stuff? This is... excessive. Stop it. I didn't even have a chance to braise my freaking shield. Honestly. This Argos apparently continues to attack after I die. It's pretty awesome of him. Oh great, I'm I'm reduced to this? Really? At least I can use Argos. It's just embarrassing. Hey! Oh, I forgot. That doesn't make you safe. Run. Run! You're bad at running. Ow. Shield, go! Wuss tactic, initiate. Ow. Run. See, so, yeah. This is fun. I guess at least it makes the shield useful, but not in a way I enjoy it. It'd be nice if this, the hands died for more than one second. Maybe it's more like four seconds. It's be 
pretty realistic there. It's a nice long time, considering it takes about 10 seconds to kill them. Not the climactic boss fight I was expecting. Yeah, I don't mind fairly drawn-out boss fights, where, you know, they have tons of health and... You know, they're sort of tough to take down, but when they just kill you in one freaking hit, and it's just like, oh, just randomly pray that you don't die, and the boss will just kill you magically. It's not a very fun fight, in my opinion. Because then you're just reduced to this. And, and nobody likes that. It's degrading to everyone. Even Argos. His mouth is wide in laughter at how silly this is. I'm blocking, you jerk. Also, the regeneration did not seem to power up very much as I leveled it up. Oh, you're dead! Very good! I hate you, sir. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just... You remind me of an old friend of mine. I can't remember her name anymore, though. Hmm. Speaking of remembering things anymore, I think some things are coming back to me. Are you still looking for a cure to your condition? Of course. Why? You just... Happened to have a cure on you that you forgot about until now? Not exactly. There was a man I met once who said he tapped into the secret of immortality. It may be able to reverse your condition, give you a proper new life, so to speak. This isn't some sort of deadly trap you're trying to lure me into now that we're done with the cult of the eye, is it? Not really up for being trapped again. This is nothing like that. It's up to you if you want to pursue this, but if you really want to escape your current state... I see your point. Better than being stranded with nowhere to go, I guess. Where is this man with the miracle cure? I honestly don't know. I met him out west somewhere. Maybe we should just head into the sunset and see where it takes us? Sounds like a fine plan. That's always a good idea. What was the name of the man you met anyway? Well, my memory's still a bit vague, but I think it's Stan McCready. Something like that anyway. Stan McCready, huh? Sounds like a real snake. Well, he did seem to be a bit of a smug bastard, honestly. Well, that's the end of the game, apparently. There's like a thousand item slots that are left empty for some reason. But it was really fun. Um, Sort of an odd ending screen. My heads-up display is still here. I also wonder if you can even start a new game, because there's no, like, new game option. If you refresh, you just start your old save file. Anyway, this has been Amiya. It's a pretty cool game. The... My main complaint is really that final boss. It just kills you instantly, or you just turtle and act like a wuss. I don't really care for that. But it was a pretty cool game, just... A little shorter than I figured it would be, but once I got into it, but a lot longer than I initially expected a little Flash game to be, so it's not bad.